my first love your every breath that I take your every step I make Babe, are you doing that crying at my feet thing that you've done so many times? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Why are you doing that again? Well, I am giving my scripture life it's my book I can use it however I want to answer your slightly disrespectful comment on what am I smoking People are prophesying, and your young ones will prophesy, your old men will have dreams, your old men will prophesy. Everybody's prophesying right now, babe. So I'm done pouring out my spirit. Because Every time I see your face, I thank the Lord that I found you. Mm -hmm. At work, I have all my angels and they sing. We sing, we laugh. It's like a gym for me. <clears throat> when I train them, when I watch, when I see exactly what's going on across the earth. It's like my air base, babe. <clears throat> I know you don't like where you're at, but what we were trying to instill in you is we had this pattern <clears throat> of we're reconciling. And seeing you sitting here on this bar stool with such grace and majesty, somebody else might see it as, well, you need some time to yourself. <clears throat> Me and your heavenly father, we do things differently. We basically are like, crap, <clears throat> adventure time. You ready? Am I ready, boy? Okay. Where is the mess? And those that were willing to get dirty with me, I thank you. You've lived some. You've loved some, and that's what I was looking for. I'm not gonna care if you quit smoking, quit drinking, and put on nice clothes. It is not about that. It has never been about that. That's gonna mean nothing to me. <clears throat> I'm going to care where are you willing to get messy. So when I looked at you, my love, Now that is a treasure. <coughs> Slash mess. <clears throat> Approach slowly, boy. Approach slowly. My wife is sitting there. Here we are again on that little lost street. I almost ran the red because you were looking over at me. Deciding. How do I follow the Holy Spirit? Demons are messing with her. I'm here, not sure if I should be. 
Do I rebuke? Do I listen? All these things going on in my mind, my mind. Because what I learned, babe, for the last two years is how to speak to the spirit of truth by me, the spirit of truth speaking and then seeing the results in your actions. Meaning the Holy Spirit then tells you what I'm saying. And each time we have separated, <clears throat> as far as not living together and being in each other's presence, I have learned a lot of things about marriage, about how to treat you, about things we both need to work on so that when we go on our adventures, <clears throat> I have more patience. I learned how to roll with it a little bit more because the entire point of my protectiveness when we were under attack and being at war was I didn't want us to separate because a demon led you away. So we were really trying to instill in you, this is why every time we come together, <clears throat> what you fear I'm going to get my heart broken he's going to kick me out but it wasn't getting through to you and it wouldn't have gotten through to you unless the consistency was there and it's the same each time about three days you have grace Returning to the Father's will, if you did not do that, you were in willful disobedience. Your heavenly Father would say, kick her out. <clears throat> and that was, you had to return to your marriage with the intention in your heart to stay, fight for your marriage and fix it. Because that is what God told you to do. So we take it first as you being here and allowing your majestic self to be a public witness as you are acknowledged in front of the Father. Don't do your I'm so sorry thing. What you have to learn is when you make a decision, babe, like me, if I make a decision, I'm going to do it. But you also have to be able to be redirected. So if the, our Heavenly Father tells you, okay, you gave him a slap on the wrist. Now, change your mind that's the hardest thing I've been teaching you and my heavenly father has been teaching me how to change your mind so remember the mood that you wake up in <clears throat> it's not going to be a happy mood and during the tribulation it's going to get worse I learned this because I went through the first tribulation Let's confirm so we can renew your mind, my love. There you see her sitting there across the ways. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. You kind of lost your voice, but... <clears throat> you don't know why, but you 
dying to try you wanna kiss the girl My soul is weary of my life. <clears throat> I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say unto God, do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou contendest with me. Is it good unto thee that thou shouldest press, that thou shouldest despise the work of thine hands and shine upon the counsel of the wicked? Hast thou eyes of flesh, or seest thou as man seeth? Are there days as the days of man? Are thy years as man's days? That thou inquirest after mine iniquity, and searchest after my sin? Thou knowest that I am not wicked, and there is none that can deliver out of thine hand. Thine hands have made me, and fashioned me together, round about, yet thou dost destroy me. We're doing something different, babe. Because that's basically the conversation that you and I had. But I recall a jumbled up attempt at speaking in the spirit. And my prophet in the previous video confirmed it it came out of your mouth too where your treasure is there your heart is also <clears throat> so that confirms you are not happy well allow your husband You were already given your next step. So complete that and you will be happier because you will make your heavenly father happy. The spirit inside you will connect to that. The scripture of the joy of the Lord is my strength will always stand true. And you'll understand more and more about everything. When you get yourself into messes, I'm very happy, even though you may not see me in the flesh as far as standing in front of you. Now, sitting at your feet at the bus stop, that was an amazing moment. The recognition of, of course, how are you, dear? Of course. Our romance is pretty... It was written in the stars. We're not broken, just bent, and we can learn to love again. Trying to push us towards. I just want to hold you close so you can stay forever. Cause you can be so. But it will only get better. You and me together till the end of time. I don't worry about a thing wrong. No one, no one, no one. Can someone stop him from singing? Look, the poetry is endless and it will get better. <laughs> See what I did there, babe? <clears throat> The understanding 
of you don't have to live a life of wondering, what did I do? When you can simply ask your husband, this is a blessing of our union, babe. It's already happened. My prophets will keep telling you. I'll have other people keep telling you. That's another thing I've been learning the last two years. How to be the Lord of hosts in this age, in this world. How to utilize songs to follow you around, my love. How to um, utilize vessels that we're using substances at times. Teaching you, well, this is my voice. This is how I do it. With love. Not torture, not hurt. I bind up the wounds of the broken. And I always hear your heart, babe. Which is my heart. <clears throat> So what we were both trying to avoid was something that will never happen, and that's us fighting. That's that's just not. Babe, you love to fight. I love you. Speaking your mind, because, shorty, I'm there for you anytime you need me. It's me and your world. Believe me. Nothing make a man feel better than a woman. Queen with the crown that be down for whatever. And we can, we can make war and make babies. My lady. <clears throat> Plus I love the fact you got a mind of your own. No need to shop around. You got that good stuff at home. And you know that. <laughs> now... Because I said Wu-Tang is forever, that's why. People didn't expect that I would be in the praises of my people. I inhabit the praises of my people. And my people switch back and forth between worship music and secular. And I'm not ignorant to that because I'm invisible standing right next to them while they're doing it. No hypocrite here. <clears throat> Fighting gets things out. We finally had a good fight. We finally got through to each other. We had the father kind of refereeing it because <clears throat> you had your demons, but we saw your fight, babe. Now, the scripture says you must be born of water and spirit to enter the kingdom of heaven. So you got your water, Miss G.I. Jane, and the spirit, but now you know where it came from. So you can stop your thoughts of me being the king of the marine kingdom or whatever you were discussing with uh, that guy you were looking for. <clears throat> we're thorough, babe. And then my prophet had told you as the Holy Spirit was led, go with Stephanie on this. So we went with Stephanie. Stephanie says, that was disrespectful. I don't mind fighting with you. That's not what I'm worried about. Because I know that when we were fighting, that wasn't you speaking to me. That was someone else. And I'm not going to get into the parameters there. <clears throat> but the rule is we don't separate. That's why the marriage thing is so important. You can go for a walk. We can. I'll be right back. <clears throat> when you have your ring on and you understand we're married and we live together.
then it becomes not both of us walking around with a hole in us now because we separated, heartbroken. So I learned you, babe. And I'll be there for you. Being married is so important because it fulfills all righteousness. If we are married, then we can take these steps. If we are not married, we can't. And then it becomes, well, if she's not your wife, she has to go. Because <clears throat> if you're moving into that situation, then you're recognizing that you're a divorced woman and you are not attempting to defend the word of God and preach. Not a good look, babe. From heaven, that was not pleasing to your heavenly father. The reason we push so hard is through these steps, you are facing a fear and you are conquering it. You are facing something you didn't think you could do, and we are doing it together. This is how you got so strong, Mary. I was never soft on you. But this is also how you learned to be where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. My baby's hardcore. You see her in the video, sleeping bag, You're a treasure, Mary. Tell me what kind of man would treat his woman so cold. Treat you like you're nothing when you're worth more than gold. Girl, to me, you're like a diamond. I love the way you shine. We'll move into... Let's confirm. <laughs> and Jesus answered, said, <laughs> Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And fell down on his face. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. <clears throat> so... When I enter your dreams, it's a good thing. If I'm giving my prophet a vision of me, and then my prophet is confirming the things I've been saying to you, that's a way higher church, man. That's the church of Christ. So navigating these things without your husband is difficult. 
and it's going to be difficult. That's why I want you to text me. A lot of times when I'm discipling people, <clears throat> they don't have the luxury, the blessing, or know me as well as you do in a face-to-face -face relationship to where I explain things. I simply say, text your spouse. And then those that know me know they're gonna find out why and they'll get more information when they take that step. This is proper instruction. As you quoted Timothy, all scripture is Holy Spirit inspired, good for instruction and correction, right? <clears throat> ben, you are amazing. I want you to see that. I want the world to see that. What they may see in that video, <clears throat> I see it totally different. I see the queen. A fighter who had major, major trust issues and who unfortunately was angry with me. The devil was angry with me and you two worked too well together for me to be able to relax around you. Because I see you in that video. Okay. When's he going to start yelling at me? I'm sitting there. I never think that you're going to attack me. It just happens. And then I lose patience with it. So <clears throat> when you're married and you've accepted that, I won't kick you out. I never want to kick you out. You've got to learn when you get angry, slap on the wrist, babe. Not this whole. Not doing it again. I've got my mind made up. Nope, not doing it again. Not doing it again. You just punish us both. That was frustrating. So me creating the spirit of truth, now I feel what you go through for a bit and then I can, okay. Send the spirit of truth. Talk to my spirit, please. And that's what I've been learning for the last two years. About how to be a better husband for you. Better father to my kids. I love you.